everyone, welcome back. Today I am going to be doing another decluttering video. Um, it's been a while since my last one and I know that people seem to have loved that shit. T today I am in dire need of sorting through my makeup drawers because they are overflowing, getting a little bit of out of control and I can't actually find anything anymore because it's all a bit too much. So I've got two makeup drawers at the moment. I've got one which is for like everyday makeup, like the stuff that I use every single day, the most popular things. And the other drawer is like kind of like all the other bits, like the overflow and everything else. I do have like another drawer which I put like kind of press samples in, etc, 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 or like the things that I'm yet to try out because I haven't got around to doing it. But Basically, my everyday makeup and my overflow makeup are all overflowing and just a bit too much. So, um, I've, I mean, I suppose I've got a bit greedy in, in terms of like what I want to like put on my face and my favourites. Um, so, I've got my comfies on, my ponytails up, I've barely got little hair extensions, I've barely got anything on my face. So I thought I would go through with you my favourite makeup items, the stuff that I will probably be getting rid of, and the stuff that is going to stay in my everyday makeup compartment thing. Let's do it. So this is the current dressing room situation. As you can see, it's very, very untidy. Um, this is stuff that um, I used when I was away, so that's my makeup bag. It's got some stuff still left in there. Over here, we've got some of Josie's stuff, and then we've got some toothpaste, and uh, just stuff, because I've been away. Now, in this drawer is my everyday makeup. So this is the makeup that I use every single day. It's an absolute mess. I've even had a glitter spillage in here, which is why <laughs> at the minute I've been getting glitter on my face and I was like, what is all this about? So this is what I need to sort out. Um, if I take this top shelf out, actually, I have in here another layer for my palettes. But again, I don't use that many palettes at once. And then if we go in, oh no, see, it doesn't even close. Can't even get it to close half the time. Go down a drawer. This is my overflow makeup and lashes and bits and bobs. So this is exactly what I'm gonna be sorting out today. So in terms of talking about the makeup that I use every single day, this is what we have here. So I'm gonna be super honest it with these products and what I love and what I wanna actually keep and uh, work with. So obviously I'm gonna take the brushes out because they go in the brush compartment and the scissors, you gotta come out too. You don't you don't live here. So normally I like to keep foundations and concealers in this one, powders in this one, eyelashy kind of stuff in this one, eye stuff like mascara and everything in that one, and then beauty blenders in this little bit here, and then this was like for my kind of highlighters. But as you can see, it's absolutely insane. This does not make any sense. So I'm gonna take these bits out, right. So what we've got here, we've got Kat Von D, Light 45, and well, that's broken. So that's gonna go in the bin. No, it's so messy now. This is a nightmare. Oh no, glitter everywhere. We've got eye glitter. We've got Kat Von D brow stuff here. The pen, that definitely doesn't live there. I think the best way to do this is to take everything out and then put everything back in that I want. So, there's loads of lids. So much eyelash glue. That's as best as it's probably gonna get. So, I'm gonna be putting things back on in here. I'm just gonna be putting in the stuff that I actually genuinely use at the moment day to day. So I'm gonna obviously start with, I'm gonna start with the NARS Pour and Shine Primer along with the NARS Foundation. That's that one. And if I'm not using that one, again, um, I'm currently obsessed over the NARS Tinted Moisturizer. I'm also a massive fan of the Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. And the concealer that I'm using at the moment is the Born This Way from Too Faced. They're the three products that I'm using as my base at the moment, and that's how simple I want to keep it. Then to set my face, a little old school product is the L'Oreal Matching Minerals, which is really great and it's kind of come back into my life. I have no shame, so I'm gonna put that one there. I'm also a big fan of the Kat Von D press powder. This is like 45, but this is a new one, so no breakages there. I'm also a huge fan of the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder, which is this guy, um, and that just about 
fits in there. Now I think I'm going to put my eye pencils and mascaras in this section as it is just about the right size. I've got the Kat Von D brow pencils. Now I actually aren't sure on which colour that I normally use so I'll just put that one there. I've got the brow pomade as well by Kat Von D. I am all about the Kat Von D tattoo liner. That's my absolute fave. So that'll also go there. And mascara wise I am all about the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. It's my fave. I need to get another one. To be fair, it's running out. So that will go there. I'm going to go in with my highlighter. So this is my highlighter, Kristen Leanne palette. Absolutely fantastic. I'm going to put that one in here because it's fantastic and fabulous. I'm also going to put in my Too Faced blush as that's also a favorite of mine doesn't really sit well so i'll just put it on its side that's an absolute fave then just for little bits and bobs i think i'm gonna put my primer my eyeshadow pro primer potion in here um i'll put my beauty blender in there along with the mini ones um i'm gonna grab some of my eyelash glue and i'll put that in here with you along with also which would be a great thing to go in there um, some glitter glue. So that's like that. I might even actually add in with these guys the Charlotte Tilbury brightening stuff as I do use that if I want something quick. But the rest of this stuff, like everything else down here, I don't really need. That means I'm going to put it in a different box. Amazing. Oh, another primer potion. Which one? There's two colours. I'll put them both in because I'm scared. Obviously, this is just base stuff. Everything else, like contour, you will see in just a second. So in this drawer, we have the palettes. So these are basically all the palettes that I use. And again, there are quite a lot of palettes in here and I don't actually need all of them. So again, I'll take them all out. And then the plan is, is I'll just put back the ones that I want handy and all the other ones can go to somewhere where they can just be kind of kept. And if I really, 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 really want to use them, I can go back to it. All of these are absolutely love. But if I can't close my drawer, we've got an issue. All right, so Naked Palette, Urban Decay. That is a must. That's always a must. Urban Decay Smoky Palette. That is also always a must. To complete the gang, the Urban Decay Heat Palette, we all know is one of my favorites. Next, contour. Always use this. This is the Kat Von D contour palette, which I use all the time. As you can see, that's it. So that'll go there because I need that all the time. Back Talk Urban Decay, another new favourite of mine, and I'm using that pretty much every day. If it's not for eyeshadow, it's for the blush because it's really, really great. My electric palette handy because I like the pinks and the purples. So that can go in there. And I know not everybody is a fan of Lime Crime because of various reasons, I completely understand. But I can't help but love this palette and I've used this so much recently. So that's definitely gonna stay in there. Got a little bit of space left, I suppose, down the side here. Uh, another fave of mine is this one because it's quite, it's travel friendly and it's got a couple of nice colors, a few nice colors in. That's the Kristen Leanne Urban Decay. So I'll just pop you down there. I actually find this palette from Too Faced, which is the um, Clover palette. This is really, really great. I love that. So that that can stay there. So I think that, that is a good amount. That is a really good amount of palettes to have handy. I might actually add one more real quick. Naked Petite palette for traveling. If it's there and it's easy to find, then we are good to go. Nice and flat and there's not too much in there. I can put my drawer back. Whoa! Oh my God, that goes in so much more nicely. So that looks absolutely fab and I'm well chuffed with that. So now that that's done, I can close that and start working on the overflow drawer. Whoops.
of decluttering makeup is you kind of look a little bit covered in stuff because you're like, what's this? I forgot about this, what does this do? So it's been a couple of days. Yo, yo, yo. I did actually finish the decluttering like really late at night because it took me so long. It was one of those days it was just so hot and I just could not, could not get like going. So it's done. I feel like I've done an okay job. I'm just gonna show you. So I've got one box, two boxes, which I've put in office boxes of unwanted stuff. This stuff is stuff that I will basically be going through, well, get my mates over, they can go through it, get my neighbour over, see if she wants any stuff. Because a lot of that is still really good shit, like really nice stuff, but I just don't use it enough to warrant just keeping it in my drawers. I've also got a bag of actual rubbish, so this is stuff that is old, decrepit, broken, not that great. So yeah, I went through my drawers, um, I went through all my makeup, and I basically sorted it out into things that I actually either use frequently or things that I know that I will use in time. So everything you see here is my everyday makeup. Um, this is the stuff that, yeah, I use every single day without fail. Here is the everyday, everyday, most used palettes which I've kept in this one. Oh my god, I had such a sort out of my lipsticks. This was absolute chaos before. This was just full of lipstick and I've really, really condensed this down. So I've got my all time favourite, most used liquid lipsticks here. In here are actual lipsticks and lip balms. So like, you know, like lipstick, like stick, stick of lip. Then in here is lip liners. Then this is my overflow drawer, so all my extra eyeliners and mascaras and glitter ones are on that side. Then I've got my extra brow pomades there. This end is all my glitters, like Gypsy Shrine, Body Shop, all that. So that's like the extra eye compartment. In here is all my extra brushes. I've got a lot of brushes it seems. So there's all my extra ones. Uh, so the ones I use most of the time are on in a little jar on the top there. And I've just put a, my little hula bronzers there. In here, as you can see, is foundation station. So these are all my extra foundations and primers and uh, setting sprays, CC creams, etc., concealers, all the stuff that, I mean, you know, like it's not my everyday everyday all the time, but I do like to use them still. And I do like to have different options when it comes to foundations and concealers just in case my skin's feeling different or I want a different kind of coverage. So they're all there and they are, they are like, you know, that's just one layer there. That's not too bad, I don't think. They're still, I can still see everything. I know where it all is. Then there's all my other palettes. Obviously, I still will use these ones, but um, I just put the uh, kind of overflow ones there because my drawer didn't close before. Down here, we have eyelashes. Um, I even have some glitter, some gems. And then right at the end there, my little snazaroos. <laughs> a lot more organised in here. Again, it's like with clothes, you gotta be ruthless. Like, there's no point in having 20 mascaras and like 15 eyeliners. Just stick with the ones that you like. I mean, there's always the case of being able to keep things because you know that you can use it at a later date, but at the same time, makeup doesn't keep forever. So, uh, yeah. That was my decluttering. I hope you found it interesting and somewhat satisfactory because I know people love a good declutter. So yeah, that was it. I will see you soon, everyone. Take care. Bye.